guys doing? This is my uh, longtime friend named Julian. I've known him for 20 years. He's just going to share a little bit of uh, history um, about kind of his ancestors and some of the cultural ways that he uh, comes from. It's Julian. I am uh, Colombian. I am also Nigerian, but I am Dakota Sioux. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about one of the strongest animals to ever walk the prairie called the bison. Now, as you can see, it's raining. We're enjoying it. It's a little wet for my liking, so I'm gonna make this quick. But today we're gonna talk about how the natives were able to sit there and not only honor and to love one of the most strongest animals to walk along the entire prairie, but to also how they used it. For the body, of course, we would use the body to eat it. We would use the whole entire body here to create sinew. We would use it to make jerky as well. Now with the horns here, we would make it to use spoons. We would haul it out to use it for a bowl, anything of the sort, the hooves, we would use it for rattles for little kids. Now, I know a lot of you probably would think, like, why would you use a hoof for a rattle? But we would like to use everything in the bison to honor it as a kill. Um, these animals are going quickly extinct, and we're trying to preserve them and keep them well. But it's hard to sit there and create an animal that has been hunted to near extinction. And in my honest opinion, I think preserving what is left of this animal, preserving what is left of the culture for this animal, is the one thing that we should all do. I'm not just talking about the bison. Thank you. Thing. This is the proper pronunciation. I forgot the ad. He forgot the ad. Solo. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all call it a bison. A miracle let it slide. But this is a tatanka. I just want y'all to know. One more time. Tatanka. T-A-T-A-N-K-A. Tatanka. You hear it first, my friends. 